Hello, Hello welcome, welcome to, to the Principles, Principles of Programming, programming Series. Uh, in this, this video, video we're going to go over Chapter, chapter 5, 5 Labs in Java, Java including 5-3 and 5-4. So, uh, Chapter 5, Java Lab 5-3 deals with using a for loop. Um, before we go with that, go ahead and smash that like button, leave a comment, and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Let's go ahead and dive into Java Lab 5-3. Alright, so we look at the tasks. In this lab, you work with the same Java program you work with in 5-1. As in Lab 5-1, the complete program should print the number 0 through 10, along with their value multiplied by 2 and by 10. However, in this lab, you should accomplish this using a, few, a for loop instead of a counter control while loop. Alright. So task one, write a for loop that uses the loop control variable to take on the value 0 to 10 and in the body of the loop, multiply the value of the control variable by 2 and by 10. And this should be our output. So let's go and look at the variables that we have declared and initialized. String head, head 1, string head 2, string head 3. Then we have our int number counter and this number 0 through 10. Then by 2, by 10 first, stores the number of multiplied by 10. And then the integer by 2 stores the number multiplied by 2. And then your final int num loops equals 10. This is constant used to control the loop. Alright, so. Let's see where we'll start is write the for loop. So just like all the other loops, let's go ahead and put that. Make some space, space to operate. So let's start the for loop with four. And then number counter equals zero. This is your space equals zero. And semicolon for Java. And what this will do is, we'll go ahead and comment that so we can track what we're doing. Slash, slash. And actually, this is going to do this 11 times. So 0 to 10 is 11. But I did comment it because I did leave something out. So once we got that, let's go to number counter. And less than or equal to the number of loops. That's going to control our for loop. Right. Semicolon. Bring this over some more. Number counter, let's do our count up one or the next one. So we'll do number counter plus plus semicolon. All right. And that will give us do that eleven times. And zero through ten number counter. This is zero through ten. We do have an error, so I don't have my Parentheses. That's what I do. Okay. All right. There we go. So now we have that cleared up. And the for loop, just like the while loop, let's go uh, bracket. And we need to work. And let's go another indent. And let's start with by ten since they started with first. Initializing the variables. So we'll call that number counter times 10. Remember your space, asterisk 10. And then this will tell it to multiply by 10. And do that semicolon for here. And time to multiply by 10. You don't have to comment this for the for your assignment. I'm just doing this 
So you can see and it helps me remember, helps me not forget any lines or also number counter. I could copy and paste that, but no worries. Times two. This of course is going to be multiplied by two. Let's go our output in system out print line. That's the head one. So number equals. So what we're doing is referring to the string, it's already there. Just point to it. And then plus the number counter. Here outside parentheses, so that semicolon, everything's going to end with a semicolon within this for loop. Any line that is. Let's do this easy way copy and paste this line twice. Get that space. Alright, so this is going to be header 2. Header 2 is going to be. 10. Let's do by 2. Come on. Two, yep, by 2. two. And then so it comes right there. And this one will be header 3 or head header, but this one will be by 10. Alright, so if you look at this, just, just number count, header 1, number, head, head 2 is multiplied by 2, head 3 multiplied by 10. It's easy to get those mixed up, but if you're going step by step, it's not impossible to keep track. Line there, cut my line. So that's it for the loop. And we've got yellow, pink, blue. Yellow, pink, blue. All right, so we got three and three. Our brackets are straight. Let's try to run it. And we have our output. So, number zero, at the top of this, number zero, 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 by two, then you got one, two and ten, and so on. All right? So that's correct. And look at our code again. All we did was do the for loop from here, right? For loop. Everything else was initialized and correctly, all the variables were correct. So once we did the for loop, include the output, and that's what it looks like. So keep an eye on this. If you haven't finished it yet, this is the part you're going to add. All right, let's check out our calculations. So we've got 100% on that one, and we have green for our task. So that one was a success. So all right, so thanks for checking out uh, Java Lab Chapter 5-3. We're going to move on to the next one. And we'll be doing the Chapter 5, Java Lab 5-4, which is using a do-while loop. Slightly different, but let's get into it. So in the lab, you work with the same Java program you worked with in Lab 5-1, 5-3, as in the, those earlier labs. The completed program should print the number of 0 through 10, along with their values multiplied by 2 and by 10. However, in the lab, you should accomplish this using a do-while loop. And in test one, write a do while loop that uses the loop control variable to take on the value of 0 through 10. 
in the body of the loop, multiply the value of the loop control variable by 2 and by 10. And the output should be looks like the same. Let's jump into this do while loop. So as you see, our same variables are initialized, are declared and initialized. Uh, we'll comment along the way. So here, let's write the do while loop. Let's make some space to work. So do while loop is a little different. Take me, Mr. Cursor. Doesn't start with a do, but we're gonna start with a number counter. And we're gonna equal that to zero. Next, we will do do, start to do. And then with that, it's open, so you're gonna need your brackets. And inside the loop, let's go ahead and make some space to work. Let's do two over. So then let's do our by 10, by two counter. By 10 equals number counter and times 10. And like the last time, Multiply by 10, I'm not going to put those comments in this time. By 10 and by 2 equals the number counter times 2. All right. So let's scroll down so you can see the whole thing. So we start with number counter equals 0, uh, semicolon. Then we had our do. And then we put our brackets in, and between our brackets, by 10 equals number counter times 10, and by 2 equals number counter times 2. All right, next line, let's give a space for our output system out print line. Let's do our head one, head before. Plus number counter. And some more on the outside. And then since we did it before, let's copy and paste the other two because they're very similar. Times ten times two. for our output and while we're doing them in separate order number right? it's because up here head one is going to say this head two is going to say this head three is going to say this so head two says multiply by two even though here it's just declared in a different order we're doing something totally different we're, we're doing output here so we want them in the right order based on how they're lined up now you can put header three ahead of head one head three above above head two if you want to as long as they're with their matching. Okay, here we go. So by 10, 3 plus by 10. And that's it for output. Now we have to do our while loop. So that, that was the do. So with the while, let's go to this closing bracket. So they're both outside the bracket. You can put it on a separate line. Actually, I left out one thing before we go. Let's go ahead and outside. Uh, two spaces, one, two. And we gotta do our number counter. This is simple. There we go. Now we go to still do the space. 
We're down here to do our wow. And let's set a number. Let's go number counter. And it's going to be less than you know, it's less than or equal to. Let's go ahead and do our set going. And let's go. So there's our final number loop is 10. All right, so look at the brackets. We got the yellow, purple, or yellow, pink, blue. Open and closing, yellow, pink, blue. So we get the right number of brackets. Let's go ahead and run this one. Let's see what we got. Class symbol, five errors. Let's check. It's not five errors. Let's see what we got and where we went wrong. So, so I see, see my out, out here. This is my out print right here. Two by two by two. two. But, but here, here we, we have, have variable number, C number. So, so we have these out of the field for me. I gotta check. check. So number counter, number counter, counter. Can I move yet? Yeah. So another one. one. So you, so you see, see where I had, had said that it was five errors. Doesn't, doesn't mean there was five, 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 five syntax, syntax errors. There was one error that may have may, may, may caused other errors due to syntax. syntax. Let's, Let's try to run this again. again. It, it looks, looks like it's good. good. I don't mind. Let's go. So, no, no. Let's go again. Now, now we're down three. three. So, so it might be five altogether. That's fine. All right. I found two, two more. more. So, hit one. one. Number oh, that's, that's not it. it. That's how it is. Number three times ten. In. No, no. It's silly, but this happens when you look at the screen too long. I thought my T insisted. Those are the other three errors. So, yep, grammatical errors. So let's go ahead and do that now. And there's your code ran. It happened to me. I'm sure it can happen to you. So sometimes you just got to take a closer look. And when it gives you the hint, it tells you, it was telling me what error it was. But I was able to kind of stare at it long enough to figure it out. But that's it for 5-4. As you see, we do have our code. Let's calculate this before we take it for granted. Make sure you get your 100% and you got those tasks freed up. So just take a look at the code, what we added. Let's isolate that. So if you're still working on it, you can kind of start it here. And this is what we changed. All right, still waiting for that calculation to come through. So it usually takes about 45 seconds to a minute for me. But I do thank you for uh, watching this video for Java Chapter 5, 5-4 4, Lab. And let's see. So we did have number counter spelled wrong. I did the auto finish or auto fill. I didn't check. And then system, I left out the T in all three of them because I copied and paste. So that's always a good hint. You have multiple errors and they all look the same and you copy and paste. Kind of go to that area first to save you some time. But like I said, with the experience, do this enough, you'll get it. All right, there's our 100%. And then there's our two green checks. Thank you again for joining. Click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care and have a wonderful and awesome day.